Hi, today we'll be going over how to configure a Gemini GV6 or GT6 drive controller. By the end of the session, you'll be able to use Motion Planner software to upload a drive's motor configuration file and programs and download into a new drive. Optionally, I'll show you how to do an auto run to confirm the motor is working. You'll need the drive powered on, the GV6-L3 and Gemini Stepper GT6 drives take 120 volt AC only. The GV6, U3, U6, or U12 take 120 or 240 volts AC. The H20 is 240 volts AC. Alternately, you can use 24 volts into the Keep Alive to upload and download. Without line power, though, you won't be able to do the auto run test. You'll need a serial crossover cable, which is a null modem. Our part number is 71-016939-10 and is a CE rated cable. You'll also need a PC with Motion Planner software. It's a free download from our website and I'll come back to that in a minute. For PCs without a 9-pin COM port, you'll need a USB to RS-232 adapter. We recommend using the Cables Unlimited USB 2920 adapter. This has the FTDI chipset and works with all of our products on both Windows XP and Windows 7. It's available at Amazon.com. Not all USB serial adapters work the same. If you aren't using one with the FTDI chipset, it may or may not work. Note the prolific chipset does not work on Windows 7. It does work on XP. You do not need the motor to be connected to upload and download. Optionally, if you want to do a spin test of the motor, you'll need either a GC50 or GEM VM50 with pins 1 and 2 jumpered, which is the hardware enable. Obviously, the motor with power and feedback cables will also need to be connected. Motion Planner 4.3.2 is a free download. Go to our website, www.parkermotion.com. On the top right hand corner, click on Support and Downloads, then Download Product Software. Select Motion Planner, click the checkbox and submit. You'll need to register if you haven't downloaded before. After registering, you'll be at the download page. Go ahead and start Motion Planner software. Your drive should be powered on with a serial cable connected to your PC. Use your USB adapter if your PC doesn't have a 9-pin COM port. When you first open Motion Planner, you'll have the default communication settings window. Here you can see the Gemini GV6 servo drive controller, uh, or you can select the GT6 stepper drive controller. Motion Planner is also used with the 6K and Gemini GT and GV base drives. Those will be covered in separate videos. Click on the port tab and you can see the COM port setting. To confirm your COM number, go into your Start menu and then go into your Control Panel. Go into Device Manager and under Ports you should see the COM number. The USB adapters sometimes do not come up as COM1, so you can take a look at those. If you double click on there or right click and go on to Properties, you can see the manufacturer which displays the chipset that's in there. If you click on the Port Technic port settings tab that will allow you to see the communications. Those are already set when um, motion planner software is being used so you do not need to ch change the baud rate settings or the number of data bits or stop bits from here. Those are already configured when you open up motion planner. Then if you click on the advanced tab you can actually change the port number, uh, the, the COM number. Sometimes though when you do that you will have to restart your computer. So from the device manager we've confirmed the serial port number for our PC, select it and press OK. You'll see the terminal tab and the editor tab appear on the bottom here and then on the bottom right hand corner you'll notice that it will say that you've selected a GV6 and COM1 is the port and it does come up in ASCII mode. Units older than 2002 in June, so if you look at the serial number it's 020617 
and then it's just an arbitrary um, sequential number after that. They do not have an ASCII translator and thus they communicate exclusively in binary mode. Motion Planner uses the COM6 server to handle communications and supports both binary and ASCII modes. With the latest version, if the drive is powered on and connected to the PC when you start Motion Planner, it should detect and be in the correct mode. To confirm your online communications, go into the terminal window and type exclamation TREV. Tell revision is the name of that command. You should get the drive part number and firmware response. If you want to check the Gemini status, uh, there's three commands, three basic commands. Do an exclamation TERF, which is tell error report full, and the F means a full text report, and so that will give you 32 bits and tell you if there's a specific fault on the Gemini. Um, there's also the tell access status command, which is an exclamation T-A-S-F command. That'll tell you if it's moving, if there's the drive uh, shut down, if it's uh, on a limit switch as well. There is also the extended access status, so if you do an exclamation T-A-S-X-F, there's a few more bits of information in terms of if you're getting a low voltage fault or if there's a motor temperature uh, switch fault on there. With these three responses it should help tell you what's going on with the Gemini drive. The user guide or FAQs on our website can help you troubleshoot specific faults further. You can manually change the ASCII binary mode in the terminal window by typing ASCII0 which will switch it to binary mode um, and then if you type ASCII1 in the terminal window that will force it to ASCII mode it will say that you need to do a drive reset and just press OK when you do that. Um, now the Gemini when you first connect to it it can be running a program which is why you need to do the exclamation point in front of the commands to proceed the command buffer. Um, here I'm not running a, um, a program so that's why it does respond without the exclamation point. To kill the program from running just hold the control p key and press K and that will send a kill. I usually do that two or three times to make sure um, that the program is stopped. Then you can go into the editor. We've confirmed that we're communicating. Uh, in the editor tab we can do an upload. You'll notice that in the Gemini setup wizard it, on the toolbar there's the Gemini. So if you click on that, that allows you to go into the express setup so you can configure what motor that you're going to select. Say if you wanted to change the motor that you're using that you could co come into here and select the motor from the motor pull down menus. I'm going to presume that we're going to keep the motor the same. We're just going to go into either communications then upload editor or you can also go into click on the second icon which is the upload editor as well too. That will give you a warning that it's going to upload into the existing editor and overwrite what's in there. Uh, do you want to wish to continue in case you have something there you want to save? You can always cancel out of there. Um, the, the Gemini GV6 and GT6, there are the motor configuration and then also the programs and the variables. So you'll have to do three different uploads. First, let's upload the motor configuration file. Uh, Motion Planner does support daisy chaining, so um, you can select a specific drive that you want to upload from. Uh, let's presume that you're only connected to one, so you can keep the default as zero. Go ahead and press OK. Here is your motor configuration file. You can see I've got a SM233AE motor connected to my GV6, and that is the entire file there. You can do a file save as or save and this will save it as a um, editor program it's just a formatted text file on there 
The Gemini GV6 and GT6 can also have programs and variables stored. You can go into f File, New, Program Editor. This will open up a new editor tab. You could also have done this through the New and then selected Program Editor. And then you can click Upload Editor and then select the programs. It will show you the list of programs and you can select multiple programs by holding the shift or the control keys. Press OK. The Gemini GV6 and GT6 do not support scaling so all distance commands are based on encoder counts or microsteps. So you don't need to check the scaling commands like the 6K products. However, the start P command is not uploaded. So go into the terminal window and then type start P and press enter. You can see that the start P for this Gemini is set to prog1. So you go back into your editor tab where all the programs are. Go to the very bottom after the very last end. So you can see when you're connected to the new drive, it will delete the old programs and then define the new programs until it sees the end and then at the end then after you've already um, added a added the program you can define one as the power up program so here I'm just going to add start p prog one so now we've added the start p prog one this will automatically run program one after every reset or cycling power you can also upload the variables. You'll do this in a new editor tab. The .prg programs are formatted text files, so you can save those to your PC as a backup or to your network. Let's say you have a new Gemini GV6 or GT6 and you want to download the motor configuration the programs to it. The first thing to do is to go into the terminal window and make sure you're talking to the drive. So go ahead and type TREV. There shouldn't be any motor configuration in there. If you type DMTR, it should be minus one, which means that there is no motor configuration file in there. That's just uh, the default value. So then go into the editor tabs, and then you can do a download editor. It will prompt you that um, some of the parameters require a reset to be activated, so go ahead and press OK. If you want to confirm the motor configuration, to just go back into the terminal window and type DMTR. You can see that it's now 1305, which matches the uh, very first command in the program, then um, in the motor configuration, pardon me, go into the editor tab. Uh, go ahead and click the download icon and pre then press OK. OK, now that you've downloaded, go into the terminal window, press enter a couple times, and then type TDIR, which is tell directory, and you should see the two programs that we've defined. You can type start P without the argument, and then it tells you pro program one is the power up program and then if you want to see the contents of any of the programs just type tprog space and then any of the programs so you can see that program is actually inside the gemini gt6 or gv6 now if you want to do a basic spin test from the two and an auto run if you do a D mode 13 and then do a drive one that will automatically turn on the motor and enable it and start turning the motor at one revolution per second the servos are actually running in open loop on the motor phases it's not actually looking at the encoder so if you type TPE a couple times you should see that it is counting up if not, then perhaps a couple of the motor phases have been switched. Obviously, with the halls and the motor phases, those need to be aligned correctly. So 
double check your wiring on a stepper if you want the opposite direction to be reversed you can power down and switch only the A plus and the A minus wires that will reverse the direction on the stepper servos it won't work like that you can see that the motor is turning if you can do a drive zero that is a software disable and then type D mode 12 to get you back into the programmable version of that if you want to do a quick motion test do A 10 V 1 D 4000 because it's a 4000 count uh, encoder your encoder might be 8000 counts that just sets it to one revolution uh, check that LH is zero so limit switches are disabled do a drive one to enable the drive you should have a green light on the Gemini and then do a um, pardon me a go one it will turn one revolution and then if you want to do a uh, D tilde it will go set it reversed and then go one it will come back in one revolution if you want to confirm that with a TPE you can do a P set zero so now we are at zero D 4000 go one I'm done moving my TPE is at 4000 and then if I do a D tilde and then go one and TPE I'm back at zero so you're good thank you for your time this presentation has shown you how to use motion planner to upload and download motor configurations and programs to and from the Gemini GV6 and GT6 and also how to make basic motion. If you have any questions, feel free to email us emn underscore support at parker.com. Thank you again.